takes longer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, custom takes longer. And what that means is whatever I believe and desire that God has for me, I think it takes a little longer to curate. So that means you can't go to Target and pick this up. You're not going to be able to go get it from Linux, but it takes longer. And so when you have something custom, that means it's designed specifically for you. Mm. So I'm not married because I'm waiting for what God has designed specifically for me. Welcome to Bring Your Babs. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin. <laughs> so, we have uh, the future, Mrs. Bryant, a.k.a. Kerry Tana. Okay? She's engaged, yo. All right. So, there was a program that happened at their church. It was actually last year. So, from everything at that time, like she was single. So, we're going to uh, play the video for you guys. And then I'll be making commentary as we go along. So, my question is, was all this a setup to what we witnessed last week when Jamal had to put a ring on it? A ring on it. But, all right. So, I'll share this uh, video with you guys. And every person on this panel professes to be a Christian, okay? So we're just going to hold their feet to the fire according to the scriptures, okay? So here we go, okay? Uh, this gentleman um, is the host of um, Dear Future Wife. So there's a lot to uncover with everybody over here. I'm like, mm, what is going on over here? Atlanta must be stopped. So without further ado, here we go. Why aren't you married? And so what I'm going to do is go around to my panelists and I'm going to ask y'all this very disrespectful question. Uh, and so I'm going to start from, I'll go ahead and start from Carrie. Why aren't you married? I am not married. I have been married before. I'm divorced. But I'm not married because I believe custom takes longer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. custom takes longer. And what that means is whatever I believe and desire that God has for me, I think it takes a little longer to curate. So that means you can't go to Target and pick this up. You're not going to be able to go get it from Linux. But it takes longer. And so when you have something custom, that means it's designed specifically for you. Mm. So I'm not married because I'm waiting for what God has designed specifically for me. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, now, Stefan speaks. You know, you're known as the relationship guru. Uh, people tune into you all the time to get relationship advice. And so. OK, so <laughs> you've heard the future, uh, Mrs. Jamal Bryant. This was last year before she was married. OK, like she shared. Right. I'm not married, but she did share that she uh, she was divorced. I didn't know that she was divorced uh, at some point in time. So my question is, uh, why didn't she go back to her husband? Was it uh, was there divorce with the biblical reasons for her to divorce? I do not know. Then she went on to say that she's not married because it takes longer. What she's waiting for is custom made. Guys, if God wants to do something, he, he, it, 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 there's nothing that is going to take God long. Okay. So I think this is also the problem when people are single, it does not give a good encouragement. It's better just to say, uh, I would love to get married. I'm still waiting on the Lord. That's it. You don't have to create things like, oh, I want something that is custom made, this, that, and the third. I think that's, that's not necessary. And the people over there are clapping. By the way, all this is happening. It happened at um, New Birth Church. So I'm like, okay, what is going on over there in the church? Okay, there's nothing wrong. Like, you know, there's so many single women who desire to get married. They're just waiting on the Lord. Instead of you just over here saying, okay, whatever you want takes longer because it's custom made. What is that? Jamal is custom made, yo. All right, so uh, let's continue to hear what the other guys say. So this next guy, uh, he's uh, a relationship guru, okay? But he's single. So I'm sorry, if you're going to be a relationship guru, <laughs> you better be the relationship but let's continue. So a lot of people always wonder, you know, you were on my podcast a couple of weeks ago and they was like, he always says the right things. Why isn't he married? So let me ask you that, Stefan. Why aren't you married? Because I'm waiting for God to tell me when it's time. You know? and Amen. 
I think it's important that we always go to God and consult with God about who we should be dealing with. I, you know, I, so many people who have ended up in bad relationships, when you ask them, did you pray and ask God, they tell you no. Hmm. Or God told them no and they got with that person anyway. Facts. All right? So I think it's important to make sure because not everyone aligns with your purpose. Not everyone can truly walk that path that God wants you to walk on. So you have to make sure God's in it and God approves of the person you want to join together with. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, Destiny Payton. Why aren't you married? I was married. I am now divorced. Thank you, Lord. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm not married because that was less than two. Ah, oh, guys, sorry. Uh, the other gentleman, right? Stephanie. Uh, you know, Stephanie, that's his name, right? We're going to play this lady. She's going to share. He says that he's waiting for God to show him. Guys, men are supposed to be pursuing, okay? The guy has got his stuff together. He's doing, a, uh, you know, he, he, he's a relationship guru. But for some reason, he's, he's, he's still single. According to him, he's still waiting for God to tell him. Well, God has already spoken. There is already guidelines on what type of relationship you should be looking for. So for him to be out here saying that, oh, you know what? I'm still, um, God hasn't shown me yet. What do you mean God hasn't showed you yet? If anything, to me, I prefer for him to say, I'm pursuing. I'm single right now. I'm pursuing. I'm looking. But that's not what he said. He said he's still single until God shows him. So when will God show him? When will God show him? Because he's a man. I can understand for women because women are waiting to be pursued, right? But for a man, you need to be the one taking the initiative to be pursuing. So I find it hard to believe, like, okay, you know, he's a good-looking man. He uh, professes to be a Christian. If he goes to to church, there are so many women out there. Why are you still single? And then you've dedicated your life and everything else to be a relationship girl. What is that? Come on, help me out here. So I don't understand why she's out here thanking God that she's divorced. But there is more. So we continue. Two years ago. Well, a little over two years at this point in time. So I'm just working on me. How long do you think you'll wait to jump into that? To God say, hey, here he okay. is. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. That's the best answer. Travis. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to marriage, the strength and the peace of partnership with a black woman. Uh, I'm excited about that, and I can't wait till it happens because I am an extreme hopeless romantic. Oh, you are? I fall in love on every first date. I be crying. <laughs> I'm picking you up, playing Joe to see all kinds of stuff, and then it don't work out. It'll take me two weeks to get over it. So I'm just really, <laughs> Do it two weeks. I'm really hoping that it's coming very soon. It just take two weeks. <laughs> Jesse Wu, why aren't you married? Do you live in Atlanta? <laughs> <laughs> dating is ghetto. Um, yeah, dating is ghetto. These guys need therapy. Uh, they're dating girls. They're dating women because they're looking for another mother. Um, yeah, so it's just ghetto, child. So hopefully, you know, the dating plan will stop being ghetto soon. I'll find me a husband. I would love to be married. Like, I joke about it all the time. I would love to be married, but I want a healthy marriage. I want a man who knows how to lead. I want a godly man. It's not easy to find quality people. I think vice versa. I, I think you guys can agree with that. It's not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. It takes time. And you. And now I think, like, with the way social media is going and everything, it's just like, uh, everything is just... Guys. Uh, so this is Jessie, okay? I just pause her right now. Because she said, do you see what she said? That is so condescending. She's out there, she says she would like to get married, but uh, right now dating is ghetto. What does that even mean? Not only that, she came to church. Oh, this whole thing is happening in church, right? This is a woman who is looking for a relationship. Guys, I, I can see all her girls right here, okay? All her legs out here are all exposed, and this woman is out here saying that she wants to get married? To who? Exactly who are you going to get? What type of man are you attracting right now? Just the way she's dressed right now. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm like, sweetheart, this is not going to work. If you're looking for a husband, at least present, look presentable for a wife material. Okay, this is not it. But they're out there. They've got so much freedom. They're in Atlanta. They can do. They can say whatever they want to say. Now, because nobody is pursuing them, they're out here saying that, okay, uh, dating is ghetto and everything. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So there's more about this girl, okay? So keep your eye out. So let's listen some more. This blurry so yeah that's why i'm not married but I, I really hope to find someone that's healthy someone that's going to therapy someone who knows how to lead someone who is godly someone who has a real relationship with christ someone who has a, a, a healthy relationship with their parents with their yeah. family yeah. you know because i want to have a family i want a family i want that, want that. yeah so want that. hopefully i get that soon amen christian keys 
Yes. Yes, sir. How many social media followers do you have? Uh, well, supporters. Uh, family. Family. So, social media family. Okay, like, we, we have family. I like to refer to them as that. Um, thankfully, a bunch. So, uh, across the platforms, about 1.2 million or something. And but, but 1.2 million, you, uh, you can't find a wife? <laughs> That is a great question. And I, in fact, have had therapy. I've had it. I've, I've, I've had a bunch of them. Um, not you, you harmonizing with me. Yeah. <laughs> I was sitting here waiting. I was like, oh, I better do that. Um, but it's, you know what? When it's, when it's time, it's time. I'm a firm believer that in relationships past, if I've asked God to say, hey, you know, if this is not it, please shake it up, disrupt it, or remove it. But he will. And that's the other part you got to be ready for, because he'll be like, oh, I'm going to knock all this over. <laughs> because if it ain't it, there it is. that's fine. But remove it. So I can I'm not distracted by this really amazing moment and connection, but I want my, my person, yeah. the person yeah. that you put here for me. Yeah. So, and, and I've been close. Been engaged a couple times. No, I've been engaged and engaged once, and I was ring shopping twice after that. They don't know. I guess they know now. <laughs> I was looking for the ring, and then and then you, 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 you messed up. Uh, oh, we oh we gonna have to revisit that. Uh. <laughs> we, we, we'll discuss that. Yeah, that's another story for another time. But I I, I want that. I crave that. I, I love the idea of coming home to an amazing rock star, brilliant black woman that I am not threatened by because of her brilliance and her intelligence. Yeah. That Amen. I am not intimidated or insecure about and I'm not settling for less than that if it ain't that if it's not somebody that I can't see I got to be able to see you under that veil yeah. otherwise we can't date yeah well you just said beautiful black woman does, she, does your wife have to be black that's my preference Period. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was adopted by two amazing strong black women um, the second one she taught me how to love she taught me about love she said get in the car we're going to get your expletive we're not gonna cuss in the church yeah but she, but you know she was like hey let's go get your stuff you don't have to stay at that foster home i was like nah miss johnson i'm cool she said get in the car we're going to get your and i said yes mother and that was the adoption process wow. and she taught me about love wow. and and she made me want to she helped me want to spend the rest of my life with an amazing black woman if it's up to me yeah. <laughs> quite honest i mean there's nothing wrong having preferences, okay? If that's what he prefer, that's fine. However, as Christians, as believers, okay? We have a criteria like in the scriptures, okay? You are to pursue, like, you know, you want to get married, somebody should, a, a Christian woman, a godly woman, okay? Somebody equally yoked to you, not an equally yoked. So if that woman happens not to be black, and then what, okay? It's fine to have your preferences. But to me, I'll find it uh, very disappointing with him if he's met people, okay, who might not be black, but those are the women who are in his path, but because he's, he's so looking like, okay, I'm looking for a black woman, black woman. Meanwhile, he's meeting all these godly women and then he's um, uh, missing out because he's been taught by our culture. Like, okay, you know, make sure he has to be black. Okay, you can have your preferences, but your preferences should not supersede what the scripture teaches. Okay, conform those preferences to, uh, to the scripture. And they ask him, like, okay, he has whatever million followers. Uh, he's well known. They're doing stuff over there. They're out there in Atlanta. I'm like, and once again, he's single. According to him, he had a failed engagement at some point. Right now, okay, are you pursuing? No, he's not pursuing. Okay, is the woman just gonna fall from the sky? So it, this time they always they're using God as an excuse. Where like, oh, I'm still waiting for God. Like, no, you are a man. Be out there, man. Come on, you cannot tell me in Atlanta this guy shouldn't. It will be hard for him to find a godly woman. Okay, I find it that I had to believe, but this is unfortunately these guys in church, they are believers. Okay, they introduce themselves as such. So I'm very troubled. I'm very very troubled by it. Okay. Jay Johnson, yeah. Come on, Doc. you're on. You're on the show. Put a ring on it where you're talking and unpacking stuff with couples. Um, same as like Stefan, you're in the you're in the space where you're coaching people in relationships. Why aren't you married? Wow. Well, I can, can I just keep it 100? Yes. My mother was married five times. My mother died at 56 years old of her fifth divorce. 
while she was fighting cancer. My grandmother was married three times. My dad was married three, and when he came to my advanced screening, I think he was trying to make my girl, one of my girlfriends his fourth one, I'm just saying. Because <laughs> he said she was so excited because he was there, and she was like, huh, what are you talking about? But needless to say, the people in my family are marrying people. And when I realized that I didn't have the tools or the skills to even understand how to be a good wife because of what I came from, I immediately in 2005 began to be a self-study. And I had a lot of unpacking to do. I shot my stepfather when I was 13 for kick, well, mm, this is church, for beating my mother. And um, there was a lot of stuff going on in my house that I really had to work through on my own. And I didn't want to, I, I teach this thing called be the love you want to attract. And I realized that the love that I was could not attract the best of me. So I had to go through, I call men experiments. I go through the experiment, but the reason you're in my life is so that I can understand and learn me. There it is. Okay. There it is. So now I've had enough experiments. All right. And the next one I'm ready for. Amen. Amen. Well, go ahead with him. Oh, I like most people on this panel. I'm still going through some proceedings, so I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> no, uh, but no, to be honest, um, you know, <laughs> I would have kept everything quiet and just kept living my life, you know, but I just felt like the Lord wanted me who, like I literally always wanted to be the beacon of hope to so many people that I never really lived my authentic self. You know, being adopted never. I think her name is Stacy, right? So she is saying that, uh, by the way, she's also a relationship guru, okay? Her show is on Oprah Winfrey Network. She's, uh, she's, she's, she's single, she's not married, and then she actually says that all the men that she was dating with, it was just, she was just experimenting. Now she's ready to get married. Now she's ready to get settled. Guys, which guy is going to be out there like, oh, hello, I'm here. Who wants that? No. This is a problem. These are Christians, but they're out here busy with the recreation dating. So why are you experimenting on those men? Where do we find that in scripture? That if you want to get married, you need to experiment men. What is that? And my question is, how many men did you experiment with? And you're out here and you're a relationship guru. What is that? Like, it's, you, you, you cannot find this anywhere. It's very, very unfortunate. And they're out here. No wonder, like, you, got, you guys are single. Because you are putting yourself in this situation, okay? You cannot be out here as a Christian, busy experimenting on many. That is wrong. That is ungodly. That is unbiblical. It's a different story. Like, whenever you get into a relationship as a believer, you should be getting in that relationship with full intentions wanting to get married. For whatever the reason, fine. If things don't work out, it's fine. Things didn't work out. But at least your intention was not to experiment. This is test driving. It's like you had a car. You're, you're trying to buy a car. Like, okay, before you buy it, of course, go and test drive it. Okay? But that's not what you do uh, uh, with godly women. So what is the difference with people who are out there in the culture? Hmm? Somebody who says that she's also a relationship girl. I mean, and all these things, guess where they're happening? All this is happening where? At Jamal Brands Church at New Birth. How are you letting these things there? For what reason? For what purpose? meeting anybody in your biological family most people were playing football to go to the nfl i was playing football to show the world to show my mom what she missed out on you know what i mean i was like i became this r&b guy to show my mom and dad what they missed out on i became this radio host that everybody knows and i said i know she knows me now and so while everybody was looking for success all i ever wanted was a family so even when i rolled today like i got my children with me wherever i go my children are with me and the truth is just like uh jess said like i'm in therapy right? and so you know, I'm healing, man, and I'm enjoying the healing process and, uh, you know, just really enjoying my children right now. Like, I've, I've always had somebody in my life, and so now at this level of the game, I'm just thankful for, like, peace and quiet and, you know, some days I can just get on a plane and go somewhere. Like, it's really, really cool, and I get to parent my, parent my children the way that I want. And so I think ultimately at the end of the day for me, I think I'm going to take a lot of time for Willie yeah. and learn Willie and hang out. You know, like, I'm really enjoying myself finally. Yeah. How, how long were you married? 16 years. 16 years. Yep, 16 years. Yep. How old were you uh, when you got married? I was 20. 25, 24, 25, yeah. I always wonder about, like, you know, back in the olden days, people get married at very young ages, uh, and we saw those marriages. They lasted a long time. We also found out that they had to deal with a whole lot of stuff. But I always wonder if, you know, um, is it a, such a thing as being too young to get married? Uh, because I've had people on my podcast that got married at 19 years old, and, you know,
you know, they're still together. And then you see people that got married young and then they grew and who they were married to at 20 or 22, they've evolved so much away from that, you know, that they don't even know who they're married to. And you have one person growing and the other person not, and then the marriage falls apart. And so uh, you got married at that age. I remember I got married at 28 uh, and I was married for two weeks shy of 10 years. And so it was the same thing, like you said, the growth thing. All right, so uh, William's Jr., right? He says that he was married for 16 years, okay? And I think he got married at 25, which is perfectly a good age for a young man to get married. For whatever the reasons, the marriage fell apart. We do not know. So all these guys are on this panel, okay? Quote, unquote, dear future wife. But everybody is not telling us as to why their previous marriage uh, fell apart. They don't have to go into details. At the bare minimum, they will just say, my marriage fell apart because I cheated. Okay, my marriage fell apart because, uh, you know, you know, my wife uh, was not faithful. That's it. At least say something that will be like, okay, so this guy, this is what he's looking for, this, that, and the third, you know, they're out here, dear future wife, want to pro protect themselves as they got it together and everything. I'm like, no, it's not helping because now we're out here wondering, why did your marriage fell apart? So all you guys are here. They, all of them, quite honest, they are very successful, okay? They have everything going for them. The only thing that's missing in their life is a wife or a husband. So I'm sitting out here like, okay, if everything for you, according to the word standard, everything else is, the, all your ducks are in a row, how come you don't have a husband? How come you don't have a wife? And then you're out here, you're a relationship guru? No, 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 no. We need to investigate more, okay? What's behind the hood? What are you guys hiding? So, William L. Jr. went on to say that right now he's happy, uh, he's able to do whatever he wants to do, he's taking care uh, of his kids, okay? Uh, good for him taking care of his kids, okay? That's not an issue. But for me, what do you mean that you're happy? So, if you're happy, which means you're happy being single, so then why, why are you out here wanting to get married again? So, he's already showing to me vibes of somebody who is very, very selfish, Okay? I'm wondering, none of these people, like, okay, maybe you need to go back to your wife at some point, okay? Why did that marriage fail? Have you sorted out the issues that cause you guys to have that failed marriage? All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.